You know, people uh, tell you a lot about themselves and what they think of you by the way they talk to you. Example, when I'm at the dinner table trying to explain war to my five-year-old, and I was last night, don't ask me why, it wasn't a bad story, it's just not worth your time at this point. The way you go about explaining war to a five-year-old is different than, you know, you would talk about war to an adult. The way you talk to somebody, the things you say to people, shows the amount of respect you have for them, right? And I I think that's true for someone in the public space. The way they talk to their audience is telling. The things that they say to their followers is telling. And that's true whether it's a politician, whether it's a celebrity, whether it's a pastor. It doesn't matter who it is. It's part of the culture in Japan, as far as I understand. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to kind of know who you're addressing in their education level, and to address them below that is... Insulting. It's insult. Exactly. Right. And I think that's true in just, you know, any walk of life. It says a lot. Well, it says a lot about someone who ran for president. In this case, the individual is Vivek Ramaswamy. When he went on social media yesterday, and he said this about the Super Bowl. He said, quote, I wonder who's going to win the Super Bowl next month. And I wonder if there's a major presidential endorsement coming from an artificially, culturally propped up couple this fall. Just some wild speculation over here. Let's see how it ages over the next eight months. You know, sometimes we really do overthink things. There is no suggestion or evidence that secretly what's going to happen is that Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift after a Super Bowl win are going to get engaged and then right after that they're going to come out and they're going to endorse grandpa for re-election in 2024 boom, boom, boom. <laughs> they'll be knocking on doors Pete. yeah yeah <laughs> they're gonna go right through Overland Park <laughs> yeah. and Leewood and you know they got their new stopping grounds are I you kidding me? coming are you you kidding me once again it says a lot about somebody based on how they talk to you based on the ideas they put out there in front of you and this is a classic example of how Vivek Ramaswamy really feels about the people who are his followers he thinks they're morons he has no respect for you because nobody in their right mind would throw something out there like this and expect to be taken seriously. But he does because he thinks so poorly of you and I. And he thinks that there are enough suckers out there who are going to buy this stuff hook, line, and sinker, John. I I had a higher opinion of him than you. Yes, you did. At one point. Yes. (laughs) He said past (laughs) tense. This is right out of Harold and Kumar. Yeah. (laughs) He belongs on the set. He does. I mean, you know, and there's just so much. I mean, the, the conspiracy theories around two people who have done nothing but date. They're, they're like, there's nothing. There's no other conclusion you can possibly come to here. In fact, I would say that Taylor Swift, as far as I can tell, has never looked happier cheering from the sidelines and playing a supporting role. Think about this, playing a supporting role to a man who actually looks like a man. Who's like a dude's dude, an all-American guy. Has a beard from middle America, Cleveland Heights, Ohio. And who plays the toughest sport in the world that, frankly, the left wants to cancel. If this was some big, grand scheme for Taylor Swift to sway the election, (laughs) you think they'd set her up with Travis Kelsey of the Kansas City Chiefs? Middle America dude, all American looks, a man's man. You think that's who they would set her or she would be set up with? If this is some big grand left wing conspiracy, it's the worst planned grandiose left wing conspiracy I could ever possibly imagine in my life. Okay, fine. He did a dopey Pfizer and Bud Light commercial. Do you ever think that maybe Travis Kelsey is one of these guys who gets asked to do these commercials and is so out of touch with the political climate 
because he's just a, you know, beer drinking, all American dude, doesn't really pay attention to politics. And they dangle, you know, an enormous amount of money in front of him. And he's like, oh, that sounds good. Sure, I'll drink a Bud Light and burp for 15 seconds for $15 million. Sure, I'll wear a blue Band-Aid for 20 mil. I mean, is has that ever crossed your mind? Because, by the way, there are far more people like Travis Kelsey who are just kind of like going along to get along and living their lives and maybe not as in tune with the news cycle as they should be. And um, don't maybe think about this as much as I do and, you know, you do as you're listening to this show. 913-408-7957. Let's go to the phones. Dennis is in uh, Bonner Springs on a Tuesday morning. What's up there, Dennis? Good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, You know, yesterday I'm getting text messages from people on this subject. I turn on my TV. It's on my TV. I get on my phone. It's on uh, my Google feed. It's on my Fox feed. It's on Twitter. It's on Facebook. Everybody was talking about it. He just talked about what he was talking. Everybody else was talking about And I find it amazing that at the podium, at the White House, whatever her name is, uh, John Key Pierre or whatever, she even brought up the subject. Now, listen, they're the most they're the most he, they're the most talked about couple in America right yes, now. Yes, sir. But that yes, doesn't sir. mean and that there's a grand conspiracy around it. No, it doesn't. But he was just repeating what everybody else was. Should he have done it? Probably not. But, you know, Pete, I've been wanting to ask you this for a long time, and John can collaborate. I don't understand why you're so hard on Vivek. I have listened for probably six to ten hours of, of interviews. He does. As a matter of fact, I just okay, listened to I'll, I'll, t- I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. Because nothing... There's no one I respect less than someone who comes off as wildly disingenuous. And there are people who view the world the way Vec does that I have a lot of respect for. He's not one of them because he comes off as disingenuous and as someone who is seeking fame, the spotlight, power, and everything that he said over the last six months doesn't match up with who he's been for most of his life. Well, Donald Trump isn't who he was 20 years ago. Of I course, mean, yeah, we, no, yes, they do evolve. But we're talking evolving is different than literally flipping on a dime. Well, I, here again, I like I said, I listened yesterday. He was explaining a bunch of business stuff, and it's like, wow, he's explaining it to me how I can understand it. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, uh, and and it's like I I don't well, get everybody. Well, listen, I mean, I I don't I, listen. Here's the thing, I, Dennis. Maybe he made a great point about whatever you're talking about. That may be true, but then he does stuff like this, and it's just wildly insulting to anybody who you know has uh, seven brain cells left. Okay, well, one one more thing, then I'll let you go because I know you have a show. But uh, I do. My, my point. My point is, okay, so he did this. Trump does this. Biden does this. Rand Paul does this. Uh, right, Akeem Jeffries does. What's the point, Dennis? Well, why, why do you just pick him out? I don't understand because he's disingenuous. Yes. Okay, I guess that's my answer. Yes, so, that is the answer there, Dennis. Right. Thank you, hey, buddy. Uh, one Listen. more. Wait a minute. One more thing. No, 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 no. Nope. Any more? I got to start Thanks charging you. For starting the show like you did, brother. Oh, okay. Yes, you're very welcome, Dennis. Right, have a good day. You, trust me. We'll get back. Bye. We'll get back to the folks who. Uh, you know, the three Americans who lost their lives in Jordan. We will reset that this morning. I'm with you on that radar where you feel like somebody's insulting your intelligence. Yes. Two people can tell you the same thing, but how they say it, you're like, this dude's full of... I know. John Q. Pierre is one of those from... <laughs> 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 Uh, that was I've heard a lot of butcherings of Corinne Jean-Pierre's name, but I think Dennis takes the cake. So good job by you, Dennis. Whether that was planned or not, it was very funny. 913-408-7957. The text line is going bonkers. Because let me just explain this again. You know, well, I got to take a quick break. We got to get to our buddy Bill O'Reilly. And then I just want to explain if you are actually going to put together some grand plan around Taylor Swift. And her involvement with Joe Biden in 2024. It would not look like Travis Kelsey, I promise you.
I was just going to say to Mark, what song is this again? That's the one I know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first one. The early one. Uh, the one John knows. All right. No, I do one. like Shake It. Uh, <laughs> Those are the two that I'm most familiar with, this one and Shake It. Uh, Oh, man, that's great. Good morning. It's uh, so good to be here with you. By the way, I, I got so wrapped up, I didn't give you the Jordan Peterson uh, text to win keyword there before Ooh, yeah. the hour so yeah. or before the break. So the Jordan Peterson tickets, uh, the text to win keyword for this hour is tickets. How about that? To 913-408-7957. Dr. Jordan Peterson will be at Cable Dahmer Arena Next month, Friday, February 16th, and uh, we're giving away tickets every morning this week at 7.15 and then at 10.15 in Ray Stevens' show. So tickets to 913-408-7957. I got so bent out of shape with the Taylor talk that I forgot about the, <laughs> the, the keyword. Jordan talk. Dude. Yeah. So just to, to reset this, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy put up on Twitter yesterday, I wonder who's going to win the Super Bowl next month. I wonder if there's going to be a major presidential endorsement coming from an artificially, culturally propped up couple this fall. Just some wild speculation over here. Let's see how it ages over the next eight months. Um, That is a great reminder that when people throw stuff like this against the wall, they have zero respect for the people that are followers of theirs. None whatsoever. Artificial is not something I would characterize this at all. No, there's nothing. That's the first to Red suggest yeah. that this is artificial in any nature. If you were going to artificially set up Taylor Swift to be some left-wing culture warrior, wouldn't you set her up with a non-binary, multiracial, swing in every which way, soy boy who on some days may pretend to be a woman wouldn't that make a lot more sense see here's i think and and i think the real problem here the real issue that many people who want to make this whole relationship political which is just mind-numbingly stupid to me on so many levels but here's the actual potential outcome of all this that not enough people are actually talking about the actual outcome here is potentially devastating for those who think that Taylor Swift is going to spend her lifetime as a left-wing promoter. If Taylor Swift gets married in this all-American relationship with Travis Kelsey, he's, you know, the football star, she's the pop star, if they actually do end up getting married and they end up settling down and they end up having children... And suddenly her life becomes vastly different than what it's been for the last 15, 20 years. And her legion, her millions of followers, which are mostly young women, suddenly realize that there's something more to life and there can be something more to life. And they settle down and they get married and they suddenly have kids. That takes an entire generation of Swifties and potentially changes the political calculation for that entire base, that entire fan base. What does that do? That's the antithesis of what the elite political establishment would want to see happen to Taylor Swift. So how about thinking about that? That's, that's to me, far more likely than the Vivek Ramaswamy conspiracy of the NFL is going to rig or I don't even know Joe Biden's going to rig the Super Bowl for the Chiefs and then this artificial relationship is going to be propped up ahead of the fall and they're going to come out and do some tour for grandpa like what Mike and Aletha go dude I'm, I've got to be honest though I'm with John that's the only one I know it's my favorite one it's the only one I know because I'm 63 that's what it, I guess that's what it is but hey this whole thing is turned. And what Ramaswamy and other guy people on Twitter, conservative people, knocking this thing and saying things, that, that doesn't help our cause at all. But you are you were making a point just now. And then I thought of, there's a lot of women right now that have such influence, like a Caitlin Clark. And if, and if, this, sticks, and, and if this sticks with Kelsey, 
traditional values, relationships, you know, whatever you want to call it, heterosexual relationships, real, I mean, traditional stuff, long term, no matter how they vote, they're showing what real life is supposed to be like. And you're right, if they can influence that many people, how ironic that traditional values and would come from people like that and an innocent basketball player at Iowa or a major superstar, the most popular player person in the world, mm-hmm. who really leans left, but she's she said it, she th- th- this isn't a fake thing anymore. It's I mean, not. It, it's real, and you can see it, and you can see it because because you can see the way they embrace each other. But also the fact that I was given, I was one of those people early going. Then I think uh, I think Kelsey's got his mind on lipstick and not footballs. So, well, he's overcome that, and he's fixed that real quick. Listen, and, there, and, and thank God he did that. But it, I mean, it, what your points are great. It, and long term, it could be a real benefit, and and I love it. I think I've I've, I've embraced it, even mm-hmm. though I only know one of her songs. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Have a good day. Listen, I was I was skeptical out of the gates, and then came around on it in a big way.